Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. You guys have been asking for this video for so long and I'm finally have gotten to it. This is my grocery haul and stockpile video. Today I'm gonna take you along with me, show you a grocery pickup order that I got as well as take you back into my areas of my home where I'm stockpiling food and just storing up things. I explain to you why I am stockpiling. I explain how I was able to do this and all the different reasons why I have chosen certain items to stockpile up on. Um, it has not been a process that has been overnight. This has taken several months to build up on this. So I just kind of go through it all and explain to you what I've got, how I did it, where I shopped, um, and just go through all these details to kind of help you if you're looking to do something like this yourself. I'm gonna start over here on this side. I have a box of extra raisin, extra raisin raisin brand, okay. Um, strawberries, two bags of these, they substituted um, one bag. And then I have Scott paper towels, it's the six double pack. I've got some go-go squeeze applesauce for Mona, she loves those. I've got my brown sugar, sugar-free oatmeal. And then I've got some canned goods right here. I've got black beans, green beans, and then I've got these whole kernel corn. I've got some watermelon. I've got some salsa. I bought this citronella candle for outside, old-fashioned oats. I bought some mayo. I bought this wood finisher marker because we had a, an accident with one of our wood tables <laughs> so we have to do some repair i've got some eggs boom chicka pop sweet and salt kettle corn this is so so good it's from angie's uh one dozen eggs green grapes i got some clementine or actually these are mandarins uh, more rice squares got some strawberries i got a bag of avocados these were on sale they were like two dollars some cantaloupe I got some bell peppers southwest um, salad. This is green cabbage, green leaf, lettuce, carrots, green onions. It looks pretty good. They were out of regular cilantro, so I just had to pick up this because we're having uh, Mexican tonight. And then I've got a cucumber. No, this is <laughs> zucchini. I got a zucchini. Got some paper plates. Some of our seasoning. This is sazon boneless picnic roast. I thought this was going to be way bigger and look how small that is that is not gonna feed all of us I thought it was like gonna be a giant one because we have company tonight so that is a major fail uh, I got a lettuce lime onions bananas sour cream I started using this caramel macchiato sugar-free international delight creamer and it's really really good and sandwich bags because my kids are actually going back to school and we'll be needing these. Got some bread, hamburger buns, milk. We get the fat-free 0% milk. I think this is skim milk. And then I got some true lemonade mix pack. This is, these are only 100 calories and they're one gram and Chris likes to have these every once in a while. So I got some pickles, the chip pickles. I got two almond milks beef burgers. It was very limited on meat and what you could get. So I just had to get whatever they had. And this is all they had. Some vitamin D gummies, foil. I got two giant, um, these are the 67 ounce of tomato sauce. I got some pledge cleaner, carpet odor eliminator. When I shampoo our carpet in the living room, sometimes it gets a little stinky, so this kind of helps afterwards. I don't know why that happens. Lysol. I'm trying to just like stock up on this because this is one of those things I couldn't find. So if it's there, I'm trying to get it. I got two Arm & Hammer laundry detergents. I got some taco mix. Jasmine rice. Jeremy loves jasmine rice, so I'm trying to stock up on this. 
Got some bacon bits. They substituted this. I had gotten a different brand, but it's fine. There's corn in here. This is all corn. And then I don't usually eat pasta, but Chris and I had this the other night with a meal that I made and it was really good. It was a nice little carb treat. <laughs> so I got this and then I got three angel hair pastas because our stockpile has gotten low. So I'm trying to get back up on that. I got some suddenly pasta salad. This is the, oh, I thought this was ranch. It's not ranch, but that's okay. Cause I have some ranch. And then I got some macaroni and cheeses. These are like 89 cents. So this is really great for our, our stockpile. Chicken broth, I love to stock up on this because I use it a lot in the fall and the winter. So, and I wanted to make some soup. I got some Clorox um, toilet bowl cleaner. And I think that's it over here. Okay, and this is, I think this is a mix of, there's like one thing from Walmart and then all of this is from Sam's Club. So I got a box of Pringles. I got a 12 pack of mac and cheese. And then this was, this is a giant box. I think there's two boxes of cake mix and then there's two icings with the confetti and there's also candles and we have two birthdays coming up in August. So this is gonna be really, actually we have a lot more than that, but in this house, <laughs> we have two birthdays coming up. So this is gonna be perfect for that. The kids love these cakes and I always love making them. And then we got goldfish, which they've already, as you can see, opened up and dug into. And then I got these rice crisps. I absolutely love the apple cinnamon and I cannot find these in like a bigger bag. They have them in the like giant rice crisp. So if you guys know where I can get these, let me know because I know they have the giant bag of the cheddar and I think the caramel, but I haven't yet to see the apple cinnamon. So let me know if you know where I can get these. <laughs> And then they've already dug into this too. This is the cup of noodles chicken flavor. This is a 30 pack and I believe it was between seven and $8. So it's really good, really easy way to stock up and just have, you know, some food on your shelf just in case. And then I got this classic mix, 50 bags of potato chips. This is usually, I think it was on sale this week for like $10 at Sam's Club because they were having a sale, but it's usually like 11, 10, 11, $12. So it's not bad in my opinion for <laughs> this, like that many bags of chips. And then I got some of the Members Mark Ultimate Clean Dishwasher Packs. I like these, they work just as well as the name brand. So, and this is 105 and it lasts a long time in our house. And then this is the Member Mark Ultimate Clean. It was limit one for all this stuff. So it was on sale. I would have picked up maybe two or three, but they everything was like basically limit one when we went to the Sam's Club. And same with the Dawn, I got this. This lasts so long and it's nice to have just a giant, <laughs> a giant one. And then I got more of the sauce because we really go through sauce very, very quickly in this house and just with different meals. And then if we just have spaghetti. So this is not even enough for what we need to like really stock up. And then I got this two pack. I forget how much it was. I think it was like $7 for both of them. And this really works nicely on the girl's hair, especially Mona. She has really silky curly hair. So it's been, it's been nice to have that and very reasonably priced. And then I got some allergy medicine and these were actually from Walmart. We needed wipes cause we're just about out cause Mona still is in a diaper. So that's it for the grocery haul portion of this video. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We are in my storage closet, which is right outside of my bedroom hallway. Uh, and I have been promising you guys a 
stockpile video. I did a grocery haul also in this video, but now I'm taking you back and showing you my stockpile. A lot of you guys have asked me for this and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get it to you. I've just been so busy with projects around the house. In fact, I've got paint and spray paint all over my hands, so please <laughs> don't look at them. Um, I'm just in between filming different projects and doing like a laundry makeover. I did a closet makeover. There's just so much going on in this house. So I figured that today I would multitask and just bring you back in here and show you what I've got going on. Um, I haven't always had a stockpile like this because I haven't always had the room for it. But now that I have this closet and I'm able to utilize it as a stockpile, that is what I'm doing. I have six people in my family. I've got four kids and I have, um, I do have company quite often with grandparents. So we go through food a lot, a lot. So this really isn't that much um, food, but I just want to show you some of the things that I'm stockpiling on. I find that when things go on sale, I'll buy them um, in bulk like I'll buy two or three extra in my grocery order if it goes on sale. If I go to Lidl or Audi, I try to stock up there a lot because their prices are so good. So on shelf items, I will buy, like I said, two or three, four sometimes if it is on sale. This isn't something that happens overnight. I just, I you know, I take a couple things at a time and work my way up. And the best way to do it is like I said, find your sales, shop around, and you can start building a, a stockpile. For example, um, I went to Walmart yesterday and these were in the middle of the aisle for $1. So I bought four boxes of these. I don't go crazy um, because I don't want to buy something that the kids don't like. So I bought four. I figured I have four kids, at least one of them's gonna like it and I'll, I'll have a good storage for it or a good, you know, stockpile of this cereal. So with everything going on in like our world today with the grocery shortage and all that stuff, I've kind of find found the things that in my store have been on a shortage um, just in case we deal with something crazy again, I wanna have a good stockpile of it. So when the coronavirus first came out, it was like pasta, sauces, macaroni and cheese, all your shelf items were just completely gone. Uh, so those are the things that I really wanted to focus on. I'm gonna show you what I've got, my little system. I have an inventory list. I have to update it, it's not updated because I just did, and I just added more to it. But this is what I created. I'll show you the back of it. And I bought this little clear holder from the Dollar Tree. So this was only a dollar and then I just made this myself and I printed it out. And I just kind of keep it up here. Um, and then as I add things, I've got a marker right over here and we'll add and subtract from it as we take things. I'm probably not gonna like count things because some things are buried, but I'm just gonna just quickly show you what I've got and what I've stockpiled on. I think everybody's stockpile will look different because not everybody eats the same things. Your needs are different from mine. My kids like certain things that maybe your kids don't like and I try to stock up on the things that really go quickly in our house. So, this is the top shelf. I've got a ton of macaroni and cheeses. My girls love these. I've got chicken broths. These, this is all broth right here because I use these a lot in the fall and the winter. So I just wanna make sure I've got a good stockpile of this. Um, there's some more macaroni and cheese up here. Like I said, please ignore my hands because there's spray paint on them, <laughs> but these suddenly pastas, my husband loves them. And when we have company that's last minute or I need to make a big meal, these really come in handy. And I just like having them on hand because we go through them a lot, um, especially when the grandparents come over, we have a little party for the kids, birthdays, whatever. I can whip this up in literally five minutes. Another thing that we go through quite a bit, this is 
this could be emptied out like so quickly is the ragu um, in my house because when we cook any kind of pastas we cook a lot of Italian dinners we just we just go through it so quick so it looks like we have a lot but this is really not <laughs> not a lot for us so uh, this is something that I'm working on building up more of a stockpile of for the fall another thing that we go through a ton a ton of is ketchup my kids just drench everything in ketchup it feels like so we go through a lot of it with having four kids and I've got more down here but I'll show you that in a minute and then this is kind of like a little condiment area for the, my big condiments we go through ranch a lot I've got mayonnaise and I've got mustard. I don't have a huge amount of that because I've actually pulled from this stockpile and put it in the fridge. That's something I need to add to as well. And then syrup. I feel like you can never have too much syrup because kids occasionally will have like, I'll make waffles for dinner as a treat or if we need a quick dinner. And then they go through it at breakfast time, obviously. And then these are my canned goods. I'm still like working on this. I've actually been trying to get to like my diced tomatoes and I haven't been able to find them at either store that I shop at. So that's one thing that has been out of at my area recently. So my stockpile is very low and this is why I'm trying to stock up on it because they're just, there's some things that I can't find right now and I need to stock up on so I've got some green beans we've got black beans this is all corn because we go through a lot of corn with my kids for one dinner we'll go through two cans so my stockpile is not very big considering how much we use and then I use these peas for soups these are pigeon peas I use them for rice too so there's a lot of uses that I get out of these and then I'm like I said the, the diced tomatoes and stuff I use these for so many recipes I use these for soups I use them for stews I use them just for a lot of things in my house so I really need to stock up on this and then I like having the baked beans as a good uh, barbecue side which we have been barbecuing a lot here it's so hot and it just feels so good to barbecue <laughs> just got a random um, popsicle I just bought these at Lidl they're only uh, $1.76 I think and I think they're over two dollars at Walmart so if you go to Lidl or Aldi definitely check them out they're cheaper there these are just this is like the snack area which I have a lot of snacks and I will show you. These are my bag snacks, the Tostitos. This is another cereal, which I'm actually gonna put down here. Uh, I got granola because we use this in our yogurt and some recipes as well. And then when I went to Sam's Club this last time, which I think is in my haul, actually, I probably already showed you guys this. This is only $3 for all of this so I like I said sales I get them and then these nut things are a good healthy snack for Chris and I will have these in hummus or dip or just on their own and it's a little healthier than having regular crackers I've got more cereal and I've got honey nut grams this is something that I want to stockpile on too because my kids go through these a lot. This is something I'm working on building up more of. This is our cereal backup. I've got oatmeal. I've got, I've actually got a cake in there. And then I've got pancake mix, pancake mix. And I've got old fashioned oats. And then I think, yes, we've got pop tarts left over from when they, the kids were getting these at lunchtime from the school bus and that's it but this is kind of where i'm trying to put all of our breakfast stuff into this basket believe it or not this is just all peanut butter and jelly and i'm not going to pull everything out i think it's mostly peanut butter but when we were on hiatus and the grocery stores were empty i could not find this reduced fat chip peanut butter and I use this for my peanut butter cookie recipe <laughs> and let me tell you I'm a huge fan of peanut butter so having this this is the only peanut butter that really really works well for my cookies so it's important to me to have this but anyway we go through a lot of peanut butter we put them in smoothies every day we put them in our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches I use this for my cookies 
So peanut butter is a big, big necessity. So I know this looks like a lot of peanut butter to have, but that's just how much we go through. And then over here, I've got our salsas. I've got a giant thing of salsa, and then I've got two more salsas. I bought this one at Walmart, but it's, um, you go to Lidl, this is like 79 cents for this giant jar, and it's really good. So again, go to your Lidl's, go to your Aldi's. Their food is really good, and it, it the quality is there. It, I, years and years ago, I didn't find the quality there, but they've just changed so much. I've got baskets all over this closet that are full of our backup snacks because I do go to Sam's and I buy our snacks in bulk. So here again, um, is just snacks on snacks and then this is the dollar cereal that I got and my girls or Penelope she likes Ryan's world so she was excited about that and then I bought this magical forest it's supposed to be like it's a knockoff of one of those cereals so this is cheap over here I've got more condiments some spices here a bunch of barbecue sauces because we go through a lot of barbecue sauce too here in the summer. Extra olive oil, I've got an extra honey, ketchups, more barbecue sauce, some jelly, and then some adobo. I've got bacon bits. This is, I, or, I have this on a subscribe and save from Amazon, so this just comes every single month and it's been great it's actually cheaper on amazon than i've been able to find it anywhere um this giant box you get a 12 pack and my subscribe and save is like seven dollars and when i went to sam's club i believe it was like ten dollars for this thing so definitely check out amazon for stuff like this too now i've got this is Cereal. I've got one, two, three, four, five more boxes of cereal. We go through these rice squares, believe it or not, very, very quickly. I tried to buy the non-generic brand and my kids actually prefer <laughs> the generic brand, which is just so funny to me. So this is another thing that I'm working on stocking up. I've got extra um, zipper black bags and then paper plates. Right here, I've got our uh, rice. I don't have a large stockpile of rice, which I need to work on because this is definitely something, if there's an emergency, just have a ton of rice. My oldest loves rice and he loves jasmine rice. So when I find it um, on sale, I, I buy it. And then of course, I've got all of our noodles. I actually have already gone through like a whole thing of this and I just recently stockpiled back up on this. This is another thing that I want to build up more on. Okay, and the last few things that I've got in this closet are just more snacks. And as you can see, I'm already running low on these. They're kind of dwindling down because they were overflowing. It just, things go fast in this house. I've got um, these noodles. These are supposed to be backups, but one of my kids have been getting in here, <laughs> so it's fine. I just, this is a good thing to have on hand um, in my stockpile. And then I have, um, believe it or not, under here, this is um, my laundry pods. I've got a couple of, of these at under here. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the stockpile so you can kind of see what I've got I can't you know I can't go crazy um, in here I have to fill up what you know fits and what we need and what our needs are so okay guys we are in my garage I'm gonna show you the little stockpile that I've got going on in here too I've got a few different areas of stocking up and this is mostly um, my paper mostly like not food items basically because it's hot out here and um, I want the food to be in doors where it's cool and the temperature is regulated so obviously this is mostly not food um, but I'm gonna show you what I have um, I forgive me guys I'm painting today so I'm literally in my like painting gear but we're not here for my t-shirt <laughs> so 
basically, I guess I'll explain to you my stockpile method. My goal with my shopping basically is to have less shopping to do. Um, to have where I have weeks that I don't want to do a giant grocery shop or you know have that $200 grocery bill. I can have backups. That's my that is really my goal with um, stockpiling as well as if there's an emergency, if the stores are running out of things, because we are seeing that and it's, you know, it's just in case, you know what I mean? I love that I can go to the store and not have to buy shampoos every week, buy toilet paper every week, buy all those little things that just add up. When I first got married, I would just, I'd have to buy every little thing every single time we went grocery shopping, every week. And it was just a lot for me. And I am a person that I really don't like to grocery shop. Grocery shopping just is not fun for me. I don't, I don't enjoy it. Um, most of the time I just don't enjoy it. It's just the stores are packed. You're trying to figure out what to get. I'm trying to meal plan. And maybe it's because now I have a, like a lot of people to think about when I grocery shop and a lot of meals to plan. Um, it's just, it's a big job and it's something that has to be done all the time. Doing stockpiles and having these things on hand has really just kind of helped me eliminate that and lower my grocery bill and just not have to have so much to think about when I grocery shop during the week. You know, if we run out of something in my kitchen closet, in the kitchen pantry, I mean, I can just run to my stockpile and I can go grab it. And that has been just a lifesaver for me. I love going to the grocery store and just having to get fruits and vegetables, just the, the bare necessities. I don't have to go and buy all of the things, all of the deodorants, all, you know what I mean? There's just so much that you have to buy. So that is really what I love about having this stockpile because before I wasn't able to have it. I didn't have a place to store a lot of this stuff. So it's, it's really been a blessing to be able to do this. My tip to you is just, if something's on sale, stock up on that item. If you can't afford to to just buy a massive amount of like things at one time, which I, you know, I wasn't able to. I buy a little at a time, and then over time you will see that it adds up. So, okay. So basically what I have up here are some toilet papers, and I've got my um, trash bags. I mostly like to go to Sam's Club and buy them because those will last me, that big Powerflex bag right there will last me forever. Um, it just lasts so long. So I highly recommend bulk shopping, especially if you have a larger family. And then down here I've got, yeah, I've got, I've actually got some cotton balls too up there uh, and some aluminum, aluminum foil. I have Q-tips right here. I have Dove soap like the bar soap there. We've got toothpaste. I've got some wipes here. And then these are all shampoos here. Um, shampoo, I've got some hydrogen peroxide, some hair stuff that went on sale, some hairspray. And then <clears throat> here I've got, these are all Dawn soaps. So I've got two of these had gone on sale. And then when I went to Sam's Club, I bought the giant one. So love, love, love shopping at Sam's Club with a big family. And then these are just flushable wipes, just in case we have a toilet paper emergency like we did. And then I love to stock up on my dishwasher packs because these last a long time too. <laughs> these are from Sam's Club. And then in here, I actually have this is all bar soap and I've got some dental floss but the kids this will go in the kids bathroom the guest bathroom um, and the Dove is so much better on their skin so that's really why I like buying the Dove oh that box smells so good <laughs> and then over here I bought this from Sam's Club this was um, these are paper towels. I've got another laundry pods. I've got some toilet paper. These are just extra hangers. 
they really don't have anything to do with this stockpile. I didn't have anywhere to put them, so they ended up there. And then I've got some more paper plates. I've got, these chips are supposed to be in the other closet. They ended up out here. And then I've got more laundry detergent. I've got two of the Arm & Hammer and then a really big Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. And I don't have a lot of water. Water kind of goes fast in this house, so when we buy it, it usually goes. That's just the way <laughs> it happens. And then in here, I have coffee. This is the breakfast blend, and then some hazelnut coffee. And I think that's it. And then more laundry detergent. This is laundry detergent, and then that's fabric softener back there. Okay, there's like stuff hanging. I've got <laughs> scooters hanging above my head. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I am going to show you my freezer. I'm not gonna pull everything out. It's organized and I really don't wanna pull everything out. So we have a very small fridge freezer and we bought this um, a couple years ago. I think when I had Mona, we ended up buying it. And I have just been loving it, especially with everything going on. Just being able to build up a stockpile of meat and breads and just basically anything that I want for the, for our fridge. Um, so just gonna give you like an overview of what I've got in here. Um, my father-in-law has actually got me a couple of these bags uh, and they have come in handy. They're, they're chicken tenders. So these have been a nice treat for the kids. And then this just allows me to have backup bread, backup meat, everything. So this is all of Chris's breads. And then I have been freezing my low carb tortillas. And then I've got more bread in here. Meatballs, the kids love meatballs. Meat. All right, as you can see, I've got a lot of bread. So the bottom of this cooler is actually all meat. I've got um, hamburgers, hamburger meat, chicken, ribs. Um, I don't eat seafood, but Jeremy asked for this, so I probably need to make that and get that out of here. Just meats, and when it goes on sale, I'm able to buy it and throw it in my freezer and have it. Um, my Actually, my father-in-law brought this over, I believe he did. I think so. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That is my frozen food stockpile and bread stockpile. And I just highly recommend having a freezer if you're able to. Um, we have a hurricane. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm being in some trouble. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for my stockpile. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you like these types of videos, let me know because I do a lot of cleaning, just like home stuff. I do a lot of homemaking stuff. So if you like the like grocery hauls and cooking and just all the extras that come with homemaking, let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely make those types of videos for you guys. I, um, I have to gauge what you guys watch and what you request and I will make it on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.